guys, Perry here, and I am thrilled to welcome you back to the best movies on Netflix right now. We're switching up the format a little bit this week, and it's not just the structure of the show. This week's episode is all about the best TV shows on Netflix right now, and we're kicking off the list with the AMC hit, Breaking Bad. It's basically one of the best shows to ever air on television. Breaking Bad was originally pitched as Mr. Chips Becomes Scarface, but it became so much more than that. The show tells the story of chemistry teacher Walter White, who's diagnosed with lung cancer and starts making meth to help secure his family's financial future. Brian Cranston gives an unforgettable performance over the show's five season run, alongside Aaron Paul as Jesse Pinkman, one of Walt's former students and a junkie who becomes a surprising accomplice for him. It's cinematic and it might be one of the most anxiety inducing shows ever, but most of all, Breaking Bad is a series that never stops surprising you. Now we're moving on to Freaks and Geeks. It's a rare thing for a TV show to really get what it feels like to be an awkward teenager, but Paul Feig's Freaks and Geeks just nails it. The show only ran for one season, but the series helped launch the careers of Seth Rogen, James Franco, Busy Phillips, Linda Cardellini, Martin Starr, and more. It splits its time between Cardellini's Lindsay, a former overachiever who falls in with a troubled crowd of slackers, and then there's also her younger brother Sam, played by John Francis Daly and his group of nerd friends. The show understands the pain of finding your place among high school social groups and the tension it can cause at home as well. It's a funny and heartfelt coming of age series that is also wonderfully and brutally honest. Next up, fans of British crime series should look no further than Happy Valley for their next fix. The show stars the exceptional Sarah Lancashire as West Yorkshire Police Sergeant Catherine Kaywood. There's not much that's happy in Happy Valley, but that's not what you watch a moody British series for anyway. Catherine is haunted by the release of the man who assaulted her daughter and produced a child who she's now raising after her daughter's death. The series is a deeply emotional and dramatic cat and mouse game between Catherine and then the villainous Tommy Lee Royce played with Charming Menace by James Norton. Though there are other crimes to investigate along the way, the heart of the series lies with Catherine and her struggle to move on from a past tragedy while seeking justice and vengeance for her daughter. With just two six episode seasons on the books, the show really is an easy and essential binge watch. Here's one that you might be familiar with. It's Matthew Weiner's gorgeous, glossy Mad Men, which examines the life of a 1960s Manhattan advertising executive, Don Draper, played of course by John Hamm. The show is a visual love letter to a bygone era, but one that is also deeply interested in the personal and internal conflicts of its characters. Don Draper is one of TV's greatest anti-heroes and a man who's extremely good at reinventing himself, but the show is full of brilliant performances and characters you come to truly care for. It also has an unexpected sense of humor to it, and it's responsible for some truly bizarre and hilarious moments. Now here's a show that was basically made for binge watching. It is Lost, and it follows a group of plane crash survivors who end up on a strange island that seems to exist out of time. J.J. Abrams and Damon Lindelof created the series, which features an outstanding cast that includes Matthew Fox, Josh Holloway, Evangeline Lilly, Daniel Day Kim, and many, many more. If you're looking for something that combines the supernatural and science fiction with some compelling character drama, this one is a must watch. Just don't think too hard about the time travel parts of it and you'll be all right. Here's one that's flown under the radar for far too long because if you're a fan of exceptional television, Rectify delivers big time. It tells the fictional story of Daniel Holden, played by Aiden Young, who's acquitted from death row on a DNA technicality after almost 20 years in prison. As he returns to his small Georgia town and reunites with his family, the show takes its time in reorienting Daniel to normal life and interactions. And the question of whether or not he committed the crime he was jailed for is something that comes to its own natural conclusion as we get to know him a little better. The series is a beautifully and hauntingly created character study and really understands small towns and family dynamics. 
It is quiet and slow, but it's a television experience like nothing you've ever seen before. Now for some sci-fi. Are you ever paranoid that your phone is listening to you? Or maybe that new technology might be the first sign of the robot revolution? The British anthology series Black Mirror will take all of those fears and triple down on them as it satirizes our obsession with technology and its role in our lives. Each episode features a new cast and a new story, and if you like series like The Twilight Zone and Tales from the Crypt, you're gonna love creator Charlie Booker's style here. It is challenging, emotional, and sometimes downright scary. After watching Black Mirror, you're probably never gonna look at your computer the same way again. Now for one of the most influential and funniest comedies to ever air, it's The Office. And it started off in Britain where it starred creator Ricky Gervais with a perfect two season run. Then it found new life as a hugely successful American remake starring Steve Carell. Maybe we're cheating a little bit with this one by including both in our list, but if you've watched one version but not the other, you should definitely change that. Though they do start off similarly, they both have their own style as the show tracks the mundane moments of everyday office life with heart and hilarity too, The Office has certainly earned its legacy as one of the best television series. Though Arrested Development was not a commercial success when it first aired, the show has always had a devoted fan base and it's become a cult classic. It's also a rare comedy that benefits from being watched over and over again because of how layered the humor really is. The show focuses on a quirky California family who have just lost all their wealth and the son who tries to hold them together in the aftermath. That short synopsis doesn't really do the show enough justice though because it's really one of the funniest and most cleverly crafted comedies ever. It features a fantastic cast that includes Jason Bateman, Jeffrey Tambor, Will Arnett, Portia de Rossi. It's smart, it's weird, and it's also full of great life advice like there's always money in a banana stand. Wrapping this up, there are few shows that can boast a legacy as strong as Star Trek The Next Generation. Gene Roddenberry's magnum opus is set 70 years after the end of the Enterprise's missions under the command of James T. Kirk, and it follows the new crew of the Starship Enterprise as they explore the galaxy, featuring unforgettable characters, villains, and a ship built to act more as a home than a battle cruiser, although it's also that. The show's seven season run has long been considered one of TV's greatest as it successfully combined emotional drama, action and adventure, as well as a sincere desire to understand and accept those who we see as different. So there you have it, 10 of the best shows on Netflix that you can watch right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. For myself and Collider.com's Allison Keen, we'll see you soon.